tonight, the Catholic Church in America loses a faithful bishop. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe. Bishop Robert Charles Morlino, leader of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Madison, Wisconsin, has died following a cardiac event. According to the Diocese of Madison, Bishop Morlino passed away on Saturday, November the 24th at 9.15 p.m. at St. Mary's Hospital. He was 71. An all-night prayer vigil was held for Morlino at Madison's Holy Name Heights Seminary as he lay dying, ending this morning at 8 a.m. The bishop was hospitalized for a cardiac event he suffered on Wednesday while undergoing a planned medical examination. The diocese turned to social media for prayers. Although the prognosis was originally optimistic, the bishop took a turn for the worse on Saturday. The vicar general of the diocese, Monsignor James Bartelia, wrote to Morlino's priests asking them to pray for a miracle. He said, I write with an update of heavy news in regards to our beloved Bishop Robert Morlino. Whereas yesterday morning held a number of good reasons for hope for the recovery of the bishop, today has been filled with a number of disappointments in that regard. Unfortunately, matters have continued to turn for the worst and it is likely that our hope lays in a miracle at this point, he continued. I would like to ask that in addition to prayers for a miracle, you also pray that if and when that time comes, the bishop would be given the grace of a happy death and may look soon upon the face of our God, the vision which shall not disappoint. Robert C. Morlino was born on December the 31st, 1946 in Scranton, Pennsylvania. An only child, he suffered the loss of his father as a schoolboy and was raised by his mother and grandmother. Morlino felt the call to priesthood as a child and he never lost it. Upon graduation from the Jesuit Scranton Preparatory School, Morlino joined the Society of Jesus and studied at a Jesuit seminary for the Maryland province and at the Jesuits Fordham University in New York. He earned an MA in philosophy from the University of Notre Dame in 1970 and a master's in theology from the Weston Jesuit School of Theology in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Morlino was ordained to the priesthood on June 1, 1974 and taught at several Catholic universities. He left the Jesuits in 1981 and was incarnated in the Diocese of Kalamazoo, Michigan. In 1990, he earned a doctorate in moral theology from the Gregorian University in Rome and became a theology professor at Sacred Heart Major Seminary in Detroit. His plans to remain a professor were thwarted by St. John Paul II, who appointed Morlino the ninth bishop of Helena, Montana in 1999. In 2003, he was named Bishop of Madison, Wisconsin by the pontiff. Morlino was an exemplary bishop, firm in his support of Orthodox Catholic doctrine and the gospel of life. He was a leader in the pro-life movement. In 2011, for example, he led 300 people, including Knights of Columbus, in praying the rosary and consecrating a seminary for babies who died before birth. Morlino gave a homily about chastity and explained how IVF and contraception work against the culture of life. Morlino was not afraid to speak out against the politically sensitive issue of the role of homosexuality has played in the ongoing clerical sexual abuse crisis. On October the 18th, 2018, he released a blistering letter demanding the depravity of sinners within the church be rooted out. Morlino was a good friend to those Catholics who loved the traditional Latin liturgy of the church. He himself celebrated mass according to the old rite and he required his seminarians to learn to say the traditional Latin mass themselves. In a 2011 letter to his diocese, Morlino stated that the Mass must be nothing less than beautiful, reflecting the perfect beauty, unity, truth, and goodness of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.